Yes. Um, Morita san uh, basically talked about the purpose for Japanese clinical text. And uh, what, what I'm concerned is that the, uh, another kind of resource, that means the dictionary. Um, currently, open Japanese medical dictionaries are very hard to find. For example, uh, there is a Japanese mesh translation in UMLS, but it's very uh, it's for very restricted use. Uh, it says that uh, category three restriction applies. That means uh, it's for internal use only, and you cannot make derivatives. Uh, no derivatives is a problem because you cannot make a dictionary for, for example, tokenization or kana to kanji conversion using that vocabulary or make an RDF to interlink to other dictionaries. There are some dictionaries available for free on web, but mostly they are for humans. You input the word you are looking for into the search window, and uh, they return a definition in natural language text. It's not formal semantics. And they don't allow downloading. Even when they allow downloading, there is a special license that says freely downloadable but requires extra license if it's used outside the medical institution. So it's for doctors only, not for natural language processing people. So I want, what I want to do in this hackathon is uh, to review a situation in Japanese medical dictionaries. Uh, the long-term goal I have in mind is uh, making an integrated Japanese medical dictionary freely available to humans and machines. But the short-time goal is that uh, find an available dictionaries in Japan and uh, examine the what they are defined, what, what is it for, the license, and, the, such, and such properties for the dictionaries. For the, that purpose, I have to determine, decide the attributes of the, for evaluating dictionaries. And then for the results, I will make a, compile a catalog of Jap Japanese dictionaries. What I mean by the word attribute of the dictionaries, I have, uh, what I have in mind is that uh, first is availability. Uh, maybe uh, I thought of uh, uh, examining uh, fair principles, but the fair principle is quite complicated. Uh, so I, I'm thinking of the simpler criteria like, is it available to everyone? Or, or what is the license? Uh, can you make a derivatives, or can you com use it commercially, or something? Or and is it uh, usable by computer programs? And of course, the uh, size of the dictionary is very important. Well, the size of the vocabulary, and uh, the content is also important. Uh, co by content, I mean that what the dictionary is attached to each terms. Uh, for example, uh, formal semantics uh, by association to some ontology, or maybe English translation, or maybe linguistic information like part of speech or the subtoken, or maybe pronunciation. And also, I want to examine uh, the dictionary can be uh, linkable or interoperable to other dictionaries or ontologies. So 
uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, I would appreciate them. Thank you very much.